Hey guys, and thank you for watching MarkPetersPhotography.com. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a proof sheet. The reason I like to have a proof sheet is so that I have a nice overview of all the pictures that I've taken. That way I can pick and choose what images I would like to enlarge. All right, so we're gonna get started by cutting up a strip of negatives. So this is a 36 exposure strip here. And we are going to start by just cutting off the leader at the end here. Just like that. We'll throw that out and then we'll grab a negative holder. <clears throat> and we're gonna cut, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. Cut that in six strips. Like that. Insert that into the negative holder. So now that we have all of our negatives in a proof sheet, we can go ahead and get our chemicals mixed. Um, like I always do, I do the dry work first. That way I don't run into a risk of getting my negatives wet, which would cause disaster. So, <clears throat> we'll grab our trays. Trays here, that's our stop bath tray developer tray and our fixer stop and developer I have my tongs labeled as well so that I don't mix them up um, you never know you don't want to have any cross contamination between the chemicals and let's mix up some developer is a beaker, a graduate. Okay, so I'm gonna need 40 milliliters of this, of the multi-grade developer from Ilford. Pour in 40 milliliters. There we go. It's getting old, it's starting to discolor a little bit, but it still works. All right, and then we'll add, let's see, 560 milliliters of, uh, of water. That's 100. Rinse out the developer beaker, or the graduate, I should say. That's 100. 200, 300, 400, Five hundred and sixty, which then makes six hundred milliliters of developer altogether. Give that a stir. Okay, so the temperature of the developer should be about twenty degrees Celsius or sixty-eight degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll pour that in our tray. There we go. 
And then we already have some stop bath mixed up because I, I reused that. It's an indicator stop bath, so it'll tell you when it's gone bad anyways. And then our fixer, which I also have already mixed up. The fixer and the stop bath are reusable for several times, uh, depending on how much you print per session. Um, the developer, however, once you've mixed it, it pretty much has a 24 hour lifespan. After that, it just goes brown and it just doesn't work anymore. Uh, usually when I make a contact print, like we're doing now, um, let that dry, then tomorrow the developer is usually still fine. Um, it takes, you know, it takes 24 to 48 hours before it's really bad. The second day you can notice that it's already starting to slow down your development. So your development times will be longer the second day. All right. So now that we've got this all mixed up, we are going to go through and uh, <clears throat> set up the enlarger. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up our enlarger. We're gonna start by looking at my little mark here. I have put a piece of tape on there with some settings on it that I usually use for contact prints. So we'll bring our enlarger head down to that height, lock it in place. Uh, I usually find an aperture of f16 is about fine. And then generally um, it's about six seconds, but the time can vary a little bit because of different variables. Um, next we'll want to make sure that we just want an average print. So I usually use just a number two filter, which is just a you know normal contrast. So for contrast filter, number two. Go ahead and put that in the filter tray. There we go. Slide that back in there. All right, so now that we have the enlarger all set up and ready to go, we can turn off the main lights and then we'll turn on the safe lights. And you'll notice that the video will go black and white because of the low light conditions that we'll be working in. And we'll start by making a test strip. And then when we're done that, we will make it the large print. Okay, so let's turn off the lights. Okay, so we're gonna start out by grabbing a, or grabbing my piece of glass. We use the glass to put on top of the negatives to keep the negatives flat. So we'll start by grabbing a, just a, a piece of photographic paper and we'll put that underneath the negatives and then we'll place the, the piece of glass on top of it to press the negatives flat against the test strip Just like that and then we'll grab a piece of uh, scrap paper or cardboard to cover up the negatives I usually just do it I divide the test strip into six pieces or five pieces depending then I'll set the timer for two seconds to remove the uh, the red filter and expose the paper two seconds, move it over another six, expose it for two seconds again, and so on, until you have five or six exposures done. I usually find that my exposure for a contact sheet is about six, to 12 seconds okay so now we have our test strip that we're gonna place in the developer for about a minute and a half or it is a minute and a half 
After about 30 seconds, you'll see an image start to appear. And then once the minute and a half is up, we'll place a test trip in the stop bath, making sure not to get the tongs that we're using to take the test trip out to touch the stop solution. So after 10 seconds, we'll take the test trip out, place it in the fixer, and it stays in the fixer for a minute. And with all three baths, um, we'll use continuous agitation. Once it's done in the fixer, it'll spend a test strip normally, you know, you just rinse it off and then you look at the results and then you just discard it. And once it's done in the fixer, I'll rinse, I'll usually rinse the test strip for, you know, five to 10 seconds or so just to get the chemicals off. But because I'm going to be scanning this one in as an example, I will rinse this test strip for about five to 10 minutes. So I've checked to see what the time looks like. In this case, it looks like a 12 second exposure. Seems to be about right. So then we will grab a piece of uh, a full sheet of photographic paper, 8 by 10. Also make sure that we put the, uh, the red filter back in front of the lens. I'm going to hide this pack of paper a little bit because those uh, safe lights are up pretty bright. So if I leave it out too long it will start to fog. It's just for video purposes. Normally, it's a lot darker in my room. Then, just as before, place the photographic paper underneath the negatives. Line them up, which is fairly hard to see in the dark. And then we'll place the piece of glass back on top of it just to hold the negatives down flat. And then we'll reset the timer. And then we'll set it for 12 seconds this time. Take the safety filter back out and then we'll expose the whole sheet for 12 seconds. And then we'll take the paper and just like the test strip, we will stick it in the developer for one and a half minutes while continuously agitating. And after 30 seconds or 20 to 30 seconds, we'll see the image start to appear. And then we'll give it a stop bath for about 10 seconds after the developer is done. And then we'll put it in the fixer for a full minute. Once it's been in the fixer for a full minute, we'll rinse it for five to 10 minutes. And 
then we'll hang it on the line to dry. I usually let my prints dry overnight or for 24 hours. That way I know that they're good and dry. Well, thank you guys for watching MarkPetersPhotography.com and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>